our subject for today is mathematics and our lesson is all about naming fraction as part of a set before we start our discussion let us pray first okay let's bow our head close our eyes and let us pray lord we thank you for the opportunity to begin our lesson today Fill each student with fresh enthusiasm and a heart that is excited to learn and grow. Cover them with your enduring love, give the confidence and grace, and equip them with the ability to preserve through trials. Bless us teachers with wisdom, understanding, and a heart to serve. Amen. Okay, so this is a set of 10 cups. One half of the total cups are with design. So how many cups are with no design? The cups are divided into two equal groups. Since we get one half of the total cups, only one group of the set will be considered. So there are five cups with no design in one part of the Set. Now, let us read the math box. A fraction can name a part of a set of objects. One half of a set of objects is the same as dividing the objects into two equal groups and considering one part of the set. One third of a set of objects is the, the same. As dividing the objects into three equal parts and considering one part of the set. One-fourth of a set objects is the same as dividing the objects into four equal parts and considering one part of the set. The numerator tells how many parts are shaded or taken from the objects. While denominator tells how many parts the set of objects is divided. Now, put the fraction shown by the shaded parts. We have six kites. And there are three kites in the shaded parts. So, how many kites are there in the shaded parts? There are three. So, the answer is blank of 6 is 3 equals 1 half. Okay, another. We have 12 stars. Blank of 12 is 6. What is the answer? How many stars are there in the shaded part? So, we have 6 stars. Okay, so... What we will do is to get the fraction. So the answer is 1 half. Okay, 1 half of 12 is 6. Another. Okay, we have 12 candies. How many shade how many candies are there in the shaded part? So we have three candies. So blank of twelve is three. The answer is one fourth. Okay, one fourth. Another Okay, blank of 25 is 10. Okay, so as you can see, we have 10, we have 25 pi. Then, at the shaded part, in the shaded part, we have 10 pi's. So, the question is, blank of 25 is 10. So, what is the answer? The answer is 2 5. Okay. Para makuha nyo yung sagot, 25 divided by 5 is 5. 
then 5 times 2 is 10. So, 2 fifths of 25 is 10. Another. That's 3. Also 3. And 3. So, we have 9 umbrellas. Blank of 9 is 6. Okay, so we have 9 umbrellas. And in the shaded parts, we have 6 umbrellas. So, blank of 9 is 6. That is 2 third. Okay, 9 divided by 3 equals 3. Times 2 equals 6. Another example. Tell how many. Okay. So, yung first is one half of six apple is blank. Okay. So, yung apple na anim, hinati natin siya sa equal part. So, each set merong tagtatlong apple. So, how many apple are there in one set? So, one half of six is blank. So, ang gagawin nyo, six Divided by 2 equals 3. Then, multiply the 3 sa numerator. 1. The answer is 3. So, the answer is 3. Another, 2 third of 9 is blank. Yan. Hinati natin sa equal parts yung 9 candy. So, meron tayong 3 groups. And 2 third of 9 is blank. So, anong sagot? 9 divided by 3, which is the denominator, then multiply by numerator. So, 3 times 2 equals 6. So, the answer is 6. Then, we have 12 volt. Okay, 1 third of 12 is Four. Okay, bakit naging 4? Kasi 12 divided by 3, dun sa denominator, the answer is 4. And multiply sa numerator, the answer is 4. So, as you can see, yung isang set ng ball dito ay, ang laman ay 4. Okay, the problem is how many owls are there in two-fifth of owls? Of 15 owls. Okay, we have 15 owls. Then, i-divide natin yung 15 owls sa Five groups. Yan. Divide 15 owls equally into 5 groups. Then, take 2 groups. Okay, so ilan yung 2 groups? We have 6. 2 groups have 6 owls. So, 2 fifth of 15 equals 6 or 15 divided by 5 equals 3 times 2 equals 6. So, the answer is 6. Okay, another example is, what is 3 six of 18 pencils? So, we have 18 pencils. Now, let us divide this into 6 group. Okay, divide 18 pencils equally into 6 groups. Then, Take three groups. Okay, so how many pencils are there in three groups? So we have nine. So three groups have nine pencils. So three six of eighteen pencils equals nine, or eighteen divided by six equals three. So three times three equals nine. So the answer is nine. The groups taken are considered 18 divided equally into 6 groups. To get a fraction part of a set 
or group, just divide the total number in a group equally according to what is asked for. Then, take how many group is considered. Example, 2 fifth of 20, we divide 20 into 5 equal parts. So, take 2 parts. 20 divided by 5 equals 4. 4 times 2 equals 8. So, 2 fifth of 20 equals 8. What to do? Answer page 296 to 297 on your own. So that's all kids. Thank you. And I will send the link later and we will have Zoom meeting. So that's all. Thank you children.